everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new we are making some more healthy desserts today you guys go crazy for these videos every time I upload a healthy dessert it's by far the most popular videos so I'm back with three more recipes we're making a banana split or making some really easy blondies you don't need any flowers of any kind for them and we are making some pecan pie bites also good, so easy, and you probably have all the ingredients at home already. So let's go ahead and jump in. So first off, we are making a banana split. Of course, you are going to need a banana, and the more yellow or the more spotted your banana, the sweeter it will be for your banana split. So I'm gonna start off by just cutting that lengthways so that we can layer on everything else. And I always advocate for getting, you know, whole food sources when it comes to desserts, because um, they're always gonna be better for you, and they have a little bit more vitamins and minerals. Then I'm using a coconut dairy-free yogurt. This one is nice and super thick, and instead of the ice cream, because we already have the sweetness from the banana it works really well I'm drizzling on some unsweetened chocolate this one just has cocoa and cocoa mass so there's no sugar added we already have the sweetness from the bananas and then I'm adding on some slivered almonds for some crunch you can kind of add on whatever you would want on a sundae and I even added on a cherry and the combo of the great healthy fats from the yogurt plus the crunch of the nuts and the sweetness from the banana makes this a perfect healthy dessert Next up, we are making some flourless blondies. So I've had some requests to make a kind of blondie that doesn't use any kind of almond flour or coconut flour for those of you who may have a bit more difficulty getting those. So I'm using some nut butter, a little bit of maple syrup for sweetness, and you can use any kind of nut or seed butter that you have. I'm using a flax egg, which is just a tablespoon of flax with three tablespoons of water to keep this plant-based. But if you're not plant-based, you can definitely just put a regular egg in here, but I wanted to keep the whole video um, plant-based. So just stir that together until it's nice and smooth. And then we're adding in some baking powder. And you know, the great thing about this recipe is the nut butter has so many great healthy fats in it. It's loaded with fiber as well. And it has minerals like magnesium, zinc, all of which are really important for your immune system, but also are necessary cofactors for a lot of different processes in the body. I tossed in, again, some more unsweetened chocolate chips. So these ones don't have any sugar, which I like. And then I'm putting that into a loaf pan that I lined with parchment paper. So you can definitely double this recipe if you want a full square pan of blondies, but I'm just making a smaller amount. So this makes six for me. And these are definitely a very decadent fudgy brownie. So if you, or blondie rather. So if you're a fan of those like fudgy ones, you're gonna love this one. And then I saved a few of the unsweetened chocolate chips to put on the top. So then we bake it at 350 for 20 minutes and everything is always listed in the description in terms of measurements so you don't have to write it down as we go. Allow them to cool, slice them up and you can see you have this wonderfully delicious fudgy blondie unsweetened chocolate loaded with healthy fats that are going to be so nourishing for your body, be satisfying and of course delicious. And then we are making some pecan pie bites. So first we're gonna use some dates. I use pitted dates, but if your dates aren't pitted, you're gonna need to remove those pits first. So just slice those open. If they're already pitted, they're almost sliced open for you already. And dates are basically like nature's caramel. They have a wonderful sweetness to them, and they're also really good for your digestion as well, similar to how prunes are. And they have such that wonderful caramel flavor, so it really gives it that pecan pie kind of vibe. Then I'm putting in some chopped pecans. I would recommend using a whole pecan if you have it, but I had chopped ones, but a whole pecan will kind of just stick in there better. Pecans are loaded with fiber, loaded with B vitamins, which support energy production. And then to finish it off, I kind of just drizzle it with some of the leftover unsweetened chocolate. But they're basically like a pecan pie in a bite form because you have the caramel from the dates, the pecans, and then a little drizzle of chocolate. So good. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna leave my free healthy dessert ebook down in the description box, you can grab it. It has my top healthy desserts. You don't wanna miss it. I literally have it on my phone and I'm always pulling it up to make desserts from it. So I even use it myself. They are so delicious. Your friends will love them, your family and you. Make sure to pick that up. And I will leave my last healthy dessert video here on the screen because who doesn't want more healthy desserts that taste good but are also good for you? win-win all around so make sure you check that out next i hope you guys are all having a great day and i will see you in my next video bye guys